I might, well, probably not going to play Awakening to, today, but just really new game, Deliver Us Mars. And, and the story is that Deliver Us Moon was a kickstarted project that got some attention because a guy called Scott, Scott Manley played it in his channel and this is basically a sequel to that. So uh, in a short recap, Deliver Us the Moon, uh, the colonists at the moon actually decided to uh, take and leave, move to Mars. So basically they let, 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 left a pretty good mess down there. And you were playing one uh, player as one uh, astronaut who kind of made a suicide mission to link up the moon network with the helium-3 back to the Earth in an energy system. So kind of save, save the Earth, but I think we are in a same kind of mission here. So we need to get the colonists back or something. Anyway, I'm really thrilled about this. I've been waiting this. It, this has been late. Anyway, let's jump into into the game. managed to get you a new one. Yeah! Ah, but before I give it to you, you have to promise to take better care of him. Okay. Better than the ones that you destroyed before. I promise. <laughs> a moon bear for my moon bear. I'm almost ready, Kathy. Give me five minutes to get into my wetsuit. Don't overdo it, honey. School and work never stops. Just really pace yourself. But I know, I know. I just lost track of time. Plus, the subject matter fascinates me. <laughs> Father and daughter, I guess. <clears throat> Promise? Yes. Not a children proof toy, I think. Kathy is a high um, big sister, I think. Picked up high school. Trolley problem. She's reading about fusion er energy. I don't know how this t ties into the main story or previous game, but not really. Great 
property just 15 minutes from the new campus. We must have earned a free loyalty relocation at this point. <laughs> Lizzie, the, another one of these seasons and this entire area will be a desert. Okay. Can we just hold off the kids are going to school and school and I actually finish a residency for once? I'm just trying to keep us safe. <coughs> Honey, <coughs> kids have a dad that commutes to the moon. Nice toys. Weren't you going to go snorkeling with Claire? Okay, <clears throat> he's actually protecting his okay, daughter. Spectacular dive, honey. Which is actually actually Sorry. good idea. <coughs> Children don't need to always look at the news. <laughs> yes. I know, Dad, don't worry. Come on. Okay, bye, Dad, love you. Better get in the water quick before Dad captures you. Come on. Don't get crazy, Father. Uh, Kathy, what did I say? But Moonbell wants to go snorkeling too. Uh huh? Bring me the man and give him a troublemaker. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Come on, Kathy, jump in. Somewhere in this room, a be quick. Push button. Okay, this was some kind of hibernation board or something. Two, two, 2060. Here, here he is. Found it. Great. Now, now, come to me. I need your help. Did he smuggle his family to the moon? There's a button on the other side of the room. When it turns on, I need you to press it, okay? Tutorial. Now, Munda. That's it. Okay, it's time to go. Stay low, darling. Don't let them see you. him back to her. East likes me best. After Rosa. Absolutely. That's why I need you to climb up there and call him over to you. Quietly. Okay. So they were all planning to abandon Earth? 
Let's tell the team yep. we've got the Lunar Council AC in our hands. We need to see more of these holograms. Yep. Ace. Ace, it's me. Hi. Follow me. N. Initiate transfer protocol. Lunar Council override. Isaac Johansson. Code 170544. Dad! Ace isn't like this! It's okay. He, he doesn't know we're taking him back to see Rosa. Isaac Johansson. We've got to hurry. They're, they're probably looking for us now. Dad, my Look. legs hurt. Come, I'll, I'll carry you. Why is he needing the con Lunar Council ACE unit? Okay, that's a card. This is the place from the... Yes, it's working! Why isn't Peter's door open? Come on, come on! Okay, uh, we are going to open the door. Please understand, if Daddy goes back to Earth with Claire, you and I will never be allowed to see Jenny again. Uh -huh. We we'll have to board the ship before it leaves without us. I need to get that door open. Follow me, quick. Okay, Daddy is not ma making much sense. Just in, in the nick of time. Okay, so there were people who didn't go with the with the plan. S slightly red corn for the first game. Okay, hel helmets on. You should be all dead now, now already.
Granted, it's easier to launch from uh, Moon than Earth. What do you think, Ayla? Reckon we'll get a few more months out of this relic? Yeah, me neither. Slight, slightly interstellar vibes here. If your butt is starting to hurt from the car seat, you're welcome to come up here and help me. You're right. You wouldn't. That's an MPD systems are for nerds. Okay. Okay, bro. Just be honest. You're feeling too threatened by me and my super brain. That super brain of yours still needs to be chaperoned to every MPD dish by a senior staff member like me. Remember? Wait, did you finally admit that you're wrong? Whatever. Anyway, I'm nearly done. Just have to cut out some plating that's obstructing the beam's waveguide. Can you let Moonhub know the dish is ready to receive? Already did. Don't forget to hook the screen points back up to the Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. <laughs> They're crossed, but it works. Hit back up, back to Ryan. If it works, it works. Hello. This is the third site I've had to hook up to a stream point. These dishes shouldn't be running on emergency power. Yeah, along with everything else in this place. These smaller cast grain antennae can't withstand another thermal shock. Not with the prolonged power traffic that's passing through them. You realize no one understands what you're saying, right? Come on, even you know what a cyclotron wave rectifier is. Okay, now you're just making up words. Hop on. World Space Agency. Yep, when there's energy energy crisis, people will, will use fossil fuels because no other options, really. Still doing drinks after this. Claire almost choked me to death last week for giving a beer. What? Listen, 
Your sister might not be big, but when it's something that concerns you, that woman can kill a lion with her bare hands. So that's a yes on the drinks. Hello? Hold on. I got a message that I've been asked to go to Maria right away. Apparently for some classified emergency meeting. Maria? That must be really serious. Can I tag along? No. You only have to smuggle me past security, and then once I'm in, I'll just... No. <laughs> She's pretty coy. Claire? You going to that meeting at Maria's? That meeting you're not invited to? Yeah. Please, Claire, if you just let me through security, then just, you know... I really have to go. Perhaps we can spend a while. So I'll just hear about it later. It's fine. Basically, they have a really small core of astronauts. Because that, that guy was like, like last in the first game, and he was moon moon base uh, guard uh, crew. So keep your head down. It's been restless again lately. Ah, uh, slumps and stuff. Didn't seem to work anymore. Stop. Is it? It is. Just let the grown ups handle this secret meeting first. Okay. That was uncalled for. Just wanted to make sure you're not still going to try anything dumb to get in. I won't. Don't even think about it. Uh huh. All right. Let's go find another way into Maria's <laughs> office. That's called lying, Ayla. Let's go. the memory of uh, no no name here this concept art the museum yeah we can cut through here to Maria's might be fun to have a look around too not been here in ages MPTs, my jam. I got absolutely fascinated by it when I saw my dad working on it every day. He really saved this planet when he designed this. In 2041, the lunar MPT dish helped diminish the planet's energy crisis by massively increasing energy yields. After the Great Blackout of 2054 and the instigation of Mission Fortuna, the first Paul game Robertson made his way to the moon base to restart the MPT. Rolf Robertson, okay. 
WSA really is trying their best to help our world with her energy needs. Ralph Robertson was was our Jack the name. It was kind of revealed in the end that he was one of those who were at the moon base but was evacuated. After the great blackout catapulted the earth back into an energy crisis, Claire Johansson, Maria Gonzalez, and Rolf Robertson undertook Mission Fortuna, a manned rocket mission to discover the blackout's cause. Robertson under the guise of Johansson and Gonzalez, refueled and reconnected the MPT dish. They really had such a big hand in reviving the WSA. So, uh, slightly red-corned the first game here. Journey sand. Really sad. Sad ending. But yeah. He was a hero. Uh, but anyway, the point is that you were like making, doing a solo mission. In, in a deliver us moon. So now it's read contact there were like two other astronauts. That we, we launch or game came along. No, that's that's wrong, wrong way. Okay, FSA yeah. Software engineer Sarah Baker critically injured in cryosleep. Rolf was uh, finding, Hansen, finding her. One of the three Lunar Council members and core Atwood instigators took the last arc and escaped. That's the last time I saw Dad. Okay, so there were some other people Just around. Remembering it always feels. I'm fine. by the Lunar Council members sometime before the Great Blackout, Project Outward saw the evacuation of nearly all Moonbase residents on board three large spacefaring vessels known as ARGs. The location of the traitorous Council members, as well as the rest of the Moonbase crew, remains unknown. My dad designed and built most of the ARGs that they used. Like almost everything else here at the WSA. So basically he's essential. He's essence, to essence if something ever went wrong. Ayla, give that door a try and see if we get lucky. Well, worth a try. Oh, hi, Mark. Hmm. <laughs> Sneak in. Sister. Looking good, sis. <laughs> Do I really need to change these? I like nothing like that anymore. Ah. <laughs> Are you joking? You look so good still. 
Ah, Sarah Baker. You trying S sleeping anything? beauty. Yeah, right. I just I meant that like Thanks. you never have to come on Alex. Try. Well, pretty hardcore that someone travels to moon to save you. Are you headed to Maria's office? Oh, why? Oh, I'm just going the same way. No. Hey, I was just looking at a few of the Mission Fortuna exhibits on my way over here. That's good. Yeah, see, uh, yo, so the point was, uh, deliver us the moon was really emo emotional in the end when, when the story started to, start to unravel and the point that Rolf was one, one of the last astronauts who kind of left the Sarah um, behind. Oh, so it was really touching, really really good India game. I was on the space station, mostly. Ah, oh, right. Yeah, that's why I never saw you on the surface, I guess. I saw you. Oh, really? When I did software upgrades for Rose's ASE. Oh, yeah, ace. No, ASE. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I mean, <laughs> I named it ace because I didn't get that ASE was an acronym, so I just kept calling it ace, and Rose would just start doing that too. It's kind of a confusing name, I guess. <laughs> she's, she's a bit right. awkward. Yours is named Alex, right? Where are you headed to? Ah, wait, is this, wait, you didn't this is the same yet. same ace unit. Uh, question? About how long you were stationed on the moon? You want to hear us with the forced cry asleep or without? Sorry, I didn't mean to. I really just need to get to the meeting. Cat. I just wanted to apologize for what happened with my dad. I, I know he didn't mean what he did. I think that's why he tried to save you on the moon. Save me? Your dad did not... Kathy, I don't want to be disrespectful, but what your dad and the Lunar Council did, they they left us here to rot. They committed the worst crimes imaginable against humankind and our planet. Yep. They deserve to be punished for what they've done. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> no? No. Thanks to an entire backlog of precedents, I know not to be surprised to see you here. I made it this far. You might as well just let no. me. No. Maria's gonna be on video. You no. Know. Okay, I thought you guys rehearsed that. Small project. Everyone knows everyone. Oh, they, they are involved. Six years. What? On the moon. It was six years. A long, long time. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question earlier. Right. Thanks. No, she she doesn't ha have doesn't have any ill ill feelings towards Kathy here. Sci-fi sci-fi <laughs> class. Uh. So what's here? Who in their right mind gave a teenager a laser? And I'm dumped. All right, I can spoil with the Ayla. Works like a charm, like in the first game.
Absolutely certain. So it must be them. Thirteen years. You okay? Can't imagine this must be easy to heal and everything. I'm fine. Now I, I figured out it it's was it was, it was Mars. They are going. Mission Opera? Opera. Right. Maybe we can determine the encryption system. We're working on it as we speak. I can enable terminal access in the back office. See what you make of this. Ada, quick. Find a way inside that room. Maybe they have something. Something they are afraid of or. That's a code. including Ryan and Sarah as part of the team. Not only do they excel in their respective fields, they're vital to me personally. I trust them both in my life. That leaves one more position to be filled. Yes. Hey. Hi. At the risk of sounding like an idiot, I think we should take Kathy. What? 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 She was leagues above the other graduates in our program. You mean, the only class of astronauts that we've had in the past ten years? Doesn't change the fact that she aced nearly every exercise, sometimes even doubling my scores. I know you want to keep her out of this, but she's the best MPT engineer we've got. We need her expertise. And look, I will deny ever saying this under oath, I might add. Kathy's the most talented individual the WSA is working with. Apart from you two. And me, of course. We're not seriously discussing this, are we? I mean, she... She has no prior experience. She's a complete risk to the mission. Sarah's right. Kathy shouldn't be part of the team. There are too many factors involved. <laughs> Sorry for that, but Claire, you know I've proven myself to the WSA. <sighs> Two concurrent science degrees, majored in stream tech, top marks in the astronaut training program, like Ryan said. Thanks for the kind words, by the way, mate. Sure. And you need my MPT expertise. Please, Claire, with you by my side, I know I can do this. We can do this. 
plus, there's only like what three other trained astronauts to choose from. Yeah, so. <laughs> that that too. I think you should take her on the team, Claire. What? 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 Nice. She's one of the most qualified people we have at the WSA. Yeah, and However, her father kind of, yours, of called her. Okay, Kathy. Even though L Ryan's last argument was severely lucky, <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Burn. You do everything you can to guarantee the mission's success. Right, Kat? Of course. Now I would like to go over the minutia for the mission with Claire, Sarah, and Ryan. Can you let us handle this without listening in this time? Oh, well, seeing as I'm now. Kathy. Mm hmm. Yes. Yep. Dirty coveralls and uh, dust storms. So th this has lots of interstellar vibes. You're all snug in there, Ayla. You need anything? Cup of coffee, magazine. You diva. <laughs> like Star Wars droids. Ouch. <clears throat> you look nervous. Yeah, that that was her wound. That amuses you? She she was no, st stab no. stabbed in the moon. But seeing you, you proud. <clears throat> hey, that scar on Sarah's stomach is. Is that the one Dad gave her? Yeah, why? Just curious. Okay, it was her, her father. You ready? Let's go. I recall they had an argument and then yeah? something happened. It was, it was three years ago. I re reviewed the Tomb of uh, mission part of the Deliver Us the Moon. Release form. GC, we're heading to the rocket now. Copy that. Okay. Transport is ready for you. How's everyone feeling? Good. Slept like a baby. Of course you did. You didn't? Yeah. Sure. How about you two? Good. Yeah, fine. Good. Everything looks so old and grimy, except their spacesuits. No turning back. 
hope. Hey, you know what I still think about? What? How come we get to live in better conditions than the people in the shanty town? How is that possible? Pure probability. Geographically and demographically, we were born in the right place at the right time. They weren't so lucky. Right. Wow, they really don't seem to want us to go. No. But considering the amount of time. Yeah. Whoa. You okay? Yeah, just a bit startled. Are they insane? They're not helping anyone by trying to hurt us. Don't they understand that we're doing this to save them? Those people will be on the MPT waiting list until the day that they die. You saw the WSA using so many resources to send four people to space? You'd be angry too. They don't understand. But when we bring the Arcs back, they will. Well, they won't. I mean, they might, and I hope they do, but they're promising something that might not happen, even if we do bring back the Arcs. Hmm. Hope springs eternal in the human breast. That's the way I choose to view it. Alexander Pope. The soul, uneasy and confined from home, dreams of a life to come. Look at you knowing your poetry. What can I say? I'm not just a pretty face. Okay. <laughs> Take a look at this view. ceases to amaze, right? It's a shame we couldn't build her properly. What? With all these shortages of materials, it really is a miracle that this thing is here at all. You could have mentioned this in all these months of prep that we're flying economy class? No, I didn't want to worry you. Except for right before taking off. <laughs> Is it only fair to disclose it now? Sure, sure. Sure. <laughs> if Claire believes we can use her for the mission, we should trust her. I believe Zephyr 3 will handle the mission just fine. Oh, it's, it's, it's the same kind of ship, ship than before. That's a side. You don't notice how high it really is until. That's a punk style of game style, actually. Uh, they don't have a ground crew or anything because th this is just a computer game. Launch sequence initiated. Copy team. This is ground control. Proceed with final check. Copy GC. Operative comms check. Go. 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 Cat, systems check. Oxygen. Oxygen is go. 
Flight. Flight is go. Navigation. Navigation is go. Ground launch sequencer. Ground launch sequencer is go. Fuel. Fuel is go. Liquid oxygen. Liquid oxygen is go. Power. Power is go. Launch sequence functions. Launch sequence functions are go. Propellant load check. Good to go. Ryan, airtight seal and cockpit air composition check. Seal and air composition are go. Sarah, start fuel cell thermal conditioning. Conditioning is a go. Cat, strong back retract. Strong back successfully retracted. Sarah, bent off lines. Lines are vented. We are go. Starting automatic ground launch sequencer. Sequencer is a go. Cat, track orbiter access arm. Orbiter access arm is retracted. Copy. Start auxiliary power unit. Where is APU? Apparently we have a truck engine in this spaceship. Auxiliary power units are go. Copy. Track gases, oxygen, vent arm. Cap retracted. Opera team, visor down. Go, 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 go. Cap, we're to transfer from ground to internal power. Transfer complete. We're on internal power. Sarah, activate launch pad down for pressure system. Okay, now we are going. Maximum dynamic pressure.
it's, it's no, no, it's coming up. Ground control to Major Tom. Yeah, it, it looks like bad. What's that? Yeah, it, it was. Cutting off second engine. Cat, initiate second stage separation. And it's away. So basically. They are using the RCS thrusters, we shouldn't see it. For many many reasons. That's a, that's a bit overkill. And then at least a year trip to Mars. Here we go, Opera Team. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Babe, did you prepare philosophical quotes for the entire journey, or? Oh, like by the day. Oh, good. Want to see something cool? You didn't like it? I mean, it's great, truly. One small step was already taken, so... Oh, wow, old school, yeah. huh? You look excited. You never look excited. Don't be cheeky. I was as frugal as possible when designing this ship. However, I did splurge on one last minute addition. A window. You're really ruining the moment, so just look. Old ISS part. Yeah, they are not skipping the visuals. There's even some debris. Zebra. Mars flight with that kind of ship, it's, it's a bit tricky. The problem is weightless, weightlessness. This is what we're doing it for. Right, Kat? Yeah, that's for me. Yeah. 
Sarah and Ryan are probably settling into their pod. I'll head back to the cockpit. Be right there.